I discovered five ways to make passive income every single day by getting in early on ChatGPT. Think about what would you do if you could get in a time machine and go back to the year 2015 and buy Bitcoin when it costs $200? Well, the opportunity that we have right now with AI tools like ChatGPT is like that, except even bigger. The people who get in early are going to make obscene amounts of money and the people who ignore this are going to be left with nothing, just like the people who ignored Bitcoin. And actually it's worse than that because not only are these people going to miss out on an amazing opportunity, but a lot of them are going to find themselves without a job because AI replaced them. AI is here to stay, so every one of us has a choice. Either we embrace it and we get in early and we use it to make ourselves rich, or we get destroyed by it. There is no middle ground. Now, there's a lot of videos out there speculating about what we'll be able to do with ChatGPT in the future, and while that's interesting, I'm gonna show you how you can use ChatGPT right now to make passive income. Let's go. The first passive income business that you can create using ChatGPT is a pet illness diagnoser. See, us, Pet owners, we get kind of desperate when our dog or our cat or our bird gets sick because they can't talk to us and tell us what's going on. What's wrong, Hopi? How you feeling? See, she's not talking to me. So it would be really, really cool if we could have a tool that would tell us what the likely problems are without us having to go to the emergency vet um, to, to figure that out because we're freaking out about thinking that the dog might have cancer and might be dead tomorrow, right? So um, what we can do is we can go and chat GPT here and we can say, um, my 10 year old dog is uh, vomiting and having diarrhea after um, visiting my family for Christmas. What might be the problem? Right. And then give chat GPT in a minute and it will tell me exactly what it thinks the likely causes are. And so here it's starting to give me an answer. There's a number of potential causes for your dog's symptoms, including eating something they shouldn't have, which actually this just happened in real, in, in real life to our dog. And that was the first thing that the vet said, probably she ate something that she shouldn't have. She ate some, some food for Christmas. And so it tells you exactly what to do. It says like what other things could be. And then like it says when, when it's an emergency, right? So, so this is really, really helpful if, you are a pet owner with a pet emergency. So what you can do to create a business around this is to use what's called the API of ChatGPT, which what that means is it's kind of a computer programming interface which will let you uh, create something that, that pulls from ChatGPT's AI system. Now, if you're not a programmer, then don't worry, like you can go on Upwork.com or something like that and, and hire a programmer very cheap that can do this very simply. And so what I'm envisioning is you have an app or a website where it just gives you a prompt and it says, okay, how, how old is your pet, right? And you put, okay, 10 years old. How, what type of pet? It's a dog. What are the symptoms? Vomiting, diarrhea, right? You just, there's just fields for all of these. Are there any unusual circumstances? Well, yeah, it was right after visiting my family for Christmas, right? And so what the API will do is put those all together. It'll say age pet is having symptoms in this circumstance, right? What is the problem? It's just going to put all that together, ask chat GPT, and then output the result. And so um, they're going to get a result like this. Now, you might ask yourself, like, why would they do that if they could just go to chat GPT and do this for free? Well, the reason is that most people don't know that, right? Most people are not up to, to speed on what's available in AI. So if they have something that's just simply like what's my pets problem.com or something, right? That makes it a lot easier for them. And they're much more likely to come to your site and you can advertise yours specifically. Whereas chat GPT is something that's just super general. So probably very few people are actually ever going to figure this out. Now, you might also be wondering, how do I make money doing this? Let's say I put this website together. How would I actually make money from it? Well, there's two big ways to make money. Number one is just through ads, right? There's a lot of websites that are free. And they have a whole bunch of banner ads and stuff, and they get paid because people will click on those ads, right, through Google AdSense or something. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to uh, charge a price for it. So 
you could charge per question asked or you could have a monthly subscription or something like that. And um, it, you probably want to give some sort of free trial to show people how it works and prove that it works before they go and pay for it. But the subscription model is really, really nice because if you charge people just like 10 bucks a month, let's say, which is going to save them on their vet bills, right? Because uh, vets are expensive. But if you charge just 10 bucks a month, if you get 100 people on it, well, now you're making 1,000 bucks a month. If you, if you get 1,000 people, now you're making $10,000 a month. So there's a lot of income potential, super passive. Really, once you set up the website, there's nothing else you have to do. Now, idea number two is to set up a novelty app that, that writes something that's, that's fun. For example, um, you could write a Shakespearean sonnet about something, or you could write a country song about something, or my personal favorite, you can write a Donald Trump speech about something. So I could say write a speech about, let's think, what would be funny to write a speech about? About people with bad breath in the style of Donald Trump. <laughs> and here we go. Folks, let me tell you, bad breath is a huge problem. A tremendous problem. It's a problem that affects millions of people. It's a problem that we have to fix. And the, my Trump impression is terrible. But you see how the, like this is perfect, man. Like this would be fun just for people that are sitting around at a party or something. And this is something that you could create an app, like an app on a phone, which should be called the Donald Trump speech generator or something. And all it would have is a prompt. And it said, what do you want Donald Trump to give you a speech about? And you put bad breath or you put about shoes or, you know, whatever. This would be really, really easy to create because all you have to do is tell the API, again, we're gonna use the API here. So you do want a computer programmer if you're not tech savvy yourself. And again, like this is cheap. You could spend like 200 bucks on a program like this. So just write a speech about, and then whatever the person says in the style of Donald Trump, and there you go. Again, you could monetize this either using ads or you could have a, a free version and a premium version or a free trial version and the upgrade to the premium version. This would be a great thing to sell just by word of mouth, right? Because it's funny, it's fun, like people will do it. And again, like there are a million different versions of this. You can have write a Shakespearean sonnet about people with, ha with bad breath or write a country song about people with bad breath or you know, write a rap about people with bad breath in the style of Kanye West, like whatever. There, there's so many possibilities that you can do with this and it could all they could all be their own separate apps. Idea number three is to write blog or SEO articles. Now, um, just a little background on that. A lot of people have blogs and they kind of have trouble coming up with ideas for their blogs. And a lot of people who have blogs don't have blogs for actually for the purpose of educating people. They have blogs for the purpose of putting keywords um, into the Google search engine. So if you go on Google and you search how to change a tire, for example, the things that are come up first are probably blogs where the words how to change a tire and variations of that word are put a lot throughout the article so that it ranks high in Google and you see it on the first page. And so a lot of people are trying to do the same thing and they want a lot of articles generally with different keywords. And so what you can do is you can say, uh, write me a blog article about how to change a tire for a Chrysler 200, for example. And then it will write that for me. And, and actually I did that wrong. I should have said, um, let me, I'm gonna copy and paste that. Write me a blog article, opt, SEO optimized for the uh, keyword, how to change a tire for a Chrysler 200, right? And that's going to make it SEO optimized so the blog post is likely to come up on the first page of Google. Now, how do you make a business out of this? Well. Basically, what you do is you do this as a service for companies and you can advertise like a super fast turnaround, right? Because ChatGPT will write this for you in like 30 seconds to a minute. So you can turn it around really fast, give them a good quality article that they're happy to put on their website that gets them SEO ranked. And then um, this is not 100% passive 
if you're doing it yourself, but what you can do is you can get a VA, somebody that will work for you very cheap that will do it for you, that will make it 100% passive, right? Because all the person has to do is take what the person asked for, write it into chat GPT, and then give them the result. And so if you can get in front of people who are looking to SEO optimize their blogs, who are looking for blog articles, then, and you can find those people on Fiverr, on Upwork, you can advertise to them, there's a lot of ways to find them. But once you get that system up and going, you get a VA doing the actual work for you, becomes totally passive. Okay, business number four. This one again is going to be a website, which uh, I'm gonna call Coding Answers. So one of the best things that ChatGPT can do is tell you exactly how to do something when you're programming. Like it will write the code for you and tell you where to put it. So if somebody has a question about how do I do this in this programming language, you can have it just, just uh, spit it back to them. And again, this is something similar to the, um, like the pet diagnosis, you're just, have a prompt that goes to ChatGPT and gives them the answer from ChatGPT. So it could be how to do anything in code.com. That could be your website. And you write a prompt that says like, what do you want to learn to do? And then the person will write something like, how do you embed JavaScript in an HTML code? for example. And if you don't know what the heck I mean by that, like, don't worry. Again, you don't have to know the programming yourself at all because ChatGPT does. And whoever makes a website for you, you know, charge a couple hundred bucks and, and they'll have it up and running for you. So here it is. Not only does it tell me exactly how to do the thing I asked, but also shows it gives me the exact code that I need in order to do that. This is a service that you could advertise really, really well using search ads, right? When somebody types in Google, how do I do this thing? You get to have a search ad that pops up that says, our, our AI algorithm will tell you how to do anything in code in 30 seconds or less, right? And again, this could be like a free trial with a subscription or a free trial where you, you know, pay for answer, that kind of thing. And then fifth idea, and this one is, is similar, but not exactly the same is a what's wrong with my code. So again, it could be a website, what's wrong with my code.com where somebody who's programming something, they, they put something into their program or they try to run the program and it gives them an error. And they're like, okay, well, I don't know what's going on, right? There must be a bug in the code somewhere. Well, something you can do in chat GPT is just write the entire code in and it will tell you what's the problem with it. So I'm going to grab this code that it just gave me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with it. I'm gonna mess it up just a little bit. Like I'm going to get rid of that, um, of that uh, final quote, right? So that's gonna give it a problem, given an issue. And so I can say, what's wrong with this code? And it's, telling me right away the code the issue with the code is it's missing a closing quote right and notice that i didn't even tell it what coding language it's in it just figured it out for itself and it figured out what's the issue this is so incredibly valuable to computer programmers or anybody who's even learning to write code so again what you could do is you could have a website that they just um you just copy and paste the code into the site and it tells you what's wrong and what they have to do to fix it. And this, again, would be great with search ads because people will search the errors that they're getting in Google, and then they'll try to go through a whole bunch of articles. But instead of going through a bunch of articles, they could use your service and just copy and paste the code, and it'll tell them customized exactly what's going on. It'll, teach, it'll save them a whole bunch of time. It's super valuable. And again, you could, you know, you could have a free trial. You could charge a subscription you could charge per answer, uh, but there are a lot of people trying to write code that are constantly running into bugs all the time, and this would save them so much time, and they would absolutely be willing to pay for it. By the way, if you wanna steal one of my ideas from this video, go right ahead, be my guest. Like, There's more than enough for all of us to get super rich from this. And if you want more, check out this video with five skills that you can use to make $10,000 a month or more. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.